Hello, I'm Ferris Pilots, and today we're going to be playing some more Pillars of Eternity. On the way back to Lady Webb, I found this person called Cyril, who, if you remember, I think was from, um, Andra's Gift? Hold on. Hold on, I can check. Yeah, from Andra's Gift. She was a prostitute in the brothel. Let's talk to her. You should have seen the looks on the nobles' faces when I moved in. <laughs> of course. Ah, uh, because we helped her by paying her money to get out of the brothel. You remember? Hello. Excuse me, but I've been looking for you. You're the one who lifted the curse on Heritage Hill. My lady, who wishes to remain anonymous, has entrusted me to bring you this pistol. It belonged to a dear friend of hers who was lost to the curse. For your part in reclaiming Heritage Hill, my lady wishes you to have it. That's good. Dingle Bingle uses pistols. Thank you. You are quite welcome. Now I must be off. Farewell. Hold on. Let's see how awesome this pistol is. Dingle Bingle, you're going to have a badass pistol. St. Garum's Spark. It does less damage than our current pistol. That's a shame. I was looking forward to using it. But it has marking, and which is useless, and shocking ra lash, and, and yeah. Well, that's because I've enchanted the current pistol. What if I enchant this one? It'll have shocking lash, and yeah, I think ours is still better because it has speed. Yeah, it has lower base damage than our own pistol. So it's just it's just bad. It has marking, which is not great. But does it look cool? No. It looks the same. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. It looks badass as fuck. That's a shame. It looks so cool. But ours is better. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, also, I got uh, Kevin Durant a new crossbow. And I gave his old crossbow to... Uh, what's his face? Heravius. The reason for that being... Heravius is terrible with his Archibus. So I gave him a crossbow. Because Kevin Durant had an enchanted crossbow. Like, fine... And, and, and Heravius did not have anything that was, uh, he just had a regular Archibus that had, like, Burning Lash or something. So, I, I got Kevin Durant an exceptional crossbow, and I gave him Heravius the old crossbow. Or, an Archibus. Wait. Arbalest or Archib... I'm, I'm so confused right now. Don't, don't even... It's, it's okay. It's okay. We got some weaponry changed about. That's all. How That's all I gotta say. Search? Ah, uh, is there something I can tell you about the Leaden Keys well, operations? Well, let's hear it. The Ingwithin Tower in Heritage Hill contains an ancient machine that can control the flow of souls. The Leaden Key activated it. This is troubling. That civilization seems to have known more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. The Leaden Key was born in that period. It may be that Theos has full knowledge of their technology. The applications of this machine you speak of. I don't want to think about it. That isn't enough to take to the Duke, but we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. They're also manipulating a group of Inwithin machines that span the country, and it seems to be causing the Hollowbone epidemic. I have feared they might be involved in Widewind's legacy. It seemed too extreme even for them. How naive I've been. The Leaden Key's conspiracy is clear now. They have used Inwithin technology to engineer Widewind's legacy, and they want people to blame Anamancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Anamancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. Thanks for explaining it so clearly. Also, I just realized Deerwood? is called that because you get it like deers live in the wood i for one would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment our duke must hear what you have to say unfortunately the hearings are closed to the public which makes the duke inaccessible until they are completed however certain groups have been invited to attend you might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, and from House Dominel. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, 
That may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. Yo, I'm like the savior of the Knights of the Crucible. <laughs> Let's talk about the animus here. Of them. Wouldn't they allow a guest of Dunredro to enter the hearings? We would only do that as a last resort. Walking in with one of the three invited groups puts you in a position of influence. Walking in alone as a representative of Dunreed Row would earn you distrust among all the rest. It seems our organization has a reputation for nosiness and manipulation for whatever reason. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, guess as to why it that might be. It would be best if people did not see Dunreed Row's hand in this. Easier for them to embrace the truth. Tell me about the Duke and how I may manipulate him. Avar is many things to many people, and that is why he sits the throne. To the frontiersmen, he is one of their own. To the patriotic, he is a sole descendant of Admeth Hadrit. To the nobility, he is from an old and established family. All of these are half-truths or exaggerations. A tale he has spun around himself. Soul descendant. Get it? Because, like, his soul is descendant. <laughs> the man behind the tale may not be the greatest mind in Deerwood, but he knows people. He knows when they are sincere and when they lie. He knows when they are strong and when they are weak. The other matters he leaves to me. Outwardly, he prefers to come off a bit of a simpleton. Don't be fooled. Before he was a duke, he was a trapper, and an excellent one at that. Farewell. All right, we can go in, because we're like part of the Crucible Knights. We just get invitations. So I have to just go talk to the Crucible Knights. Yeah. That was pretty easy. This is what happens when you explore all the side quests. The main quest is all streamlined and shit for you to do. It says, it's almost as if it was designed by Todd Howard. <laughs> Get it? Because he's a guy who's the designer of Oblivion. And they were like, we're going to streamline everything from Morrowind. That's the joke. I hope you understand. Okay, let's... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's just go. Um, We need to go to First Fires. And we need to go from there to the Crucible Keep. I need to go like, yo, dog, remember how I saved you? Well, this time I need a favor. And they're going to be like, well, I mean, you did literally save our lives. I guess we'll give you a favor. The Domino's it's hate us. It's high time for some rest. The, what, they're, what, Jacob, what the F are those guys a memorial called? For the Saints War. They say a Rawatai artillery master contributed to the Godhammer bomb. I wondered if... Of course... You want Rawatai to be a part of this history. Crow about how your people helped the deer. <laughs> Maybe your Ranganui lied. A Mawa. On second thought, I'll ask her there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the dozens hate us, the dominoes hate us. Only the Crucible Knights would be willing to help us. Um, but we've helped them, that's why they're willing to help us. It's not like we're asking for something for nothing. We've already done the work up front. We built a relationship with these Crucible Knights. Let's go and talk to their gate greeter. Okay, he doesn't have the power to grant us this permission. We have to go and talk directly to the uh, big man who is the leader of these Crucible Knights. And he's going to be the one to grant us permission. Let's go. Just this yard, not you. House Domino still thinks it's a law in the city. Yeah, fuck Domino. We're the Crucible Knights. I understand that the Crucible Knights are attending the Animancy hearings at the palace. Indeed. Duke Avar looks to the Knights for prudent counsel as well as defense. I suspect our future as a city and a nation will depend in no small part on how we handle this matter. I'd like an audience with Duke Avar. And we'll be glad to have you with us. Avar will no doubt find your presence persuasive. And we need all the possible support to see that he gives Animancy its fair chance. Animancy, a fair chance. Indeed! Nope, that's it. Return to Brackenberry to speak with Lady Webb at Hadrid House about attending the hearings. Really? I thought I could just go. It's a shame. Oh well. 
That's it. This is like, this is the kind of like repetitive walking back and forth that I really like the fact that in Age of Decadence you could skip. Right? Because now we're just going to have to go through like three load screens to get back to uh, Lady Web. So this is load screen number one. All right, let's finish that. Okay. And then we're going to go out this door and we're going to go to the exit. And then once we go to the exit, we're going to go to Brackenberry. So that's load screen number two that we're currently on. And then afterwards, we're actually going to have four load screens. Yeah, I was wrong. Because we're going to go inside of the Hadrid house, which is load screen number three. And then we're going to go upstairs, which is load screen number four. And then we're going to have to repeat these load screens again. It's just like, you could have done it in one. What? Who the hell is attacking me? Assassin. What are these dominoes? Like, fuck them. I'm like not scared at all. Seriously, guys. These guys are not scary. Um, Let's do... Maybe I can like... Soul Ignition? What? Do it. Do it on this guy. Dead on. Is that you? What are you doing? This guy was just like running around. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know who what they're doing, these guys. They seem like very stupid in the way that they're choosing to target me. Hmm? Um, okay. Hey, Dingle Bingle, why don't you use that mind, Lance, on this jerk? Or, or don't. What, what attack did I tell him to use? No, I told him to use my lens. Itumac is dead. That's okay. Everybody's already dead, so Indeed. that's fine. Come on, guys. Let me loot. Let me loot. Let me loot. Let me loot. Okay. Perfect. What is this? Scrawled note. Written on the scrap of parchment is a concise but detailed description of you, your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I don't really care who's trying to assassinate me. What I do care is that they failed. That's very important. Oh, did Cyril die? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> oh no, all of our work is for naught. You must get. I did gather my parrot party before venturing forth. Stop being such a jerk. So yeah, this is load screen number uh, three. <laughs> Although I guess one of the nice things about having these load screens, or I don't know if it's a nice thing, but it means you can get attacked along the way, but you could just have that be as like a kind of random encounter. I don't know. Look, all I'm saying is that Less load screens is better. Right, that's my opinion on the matter. Because it means less waiting and less wasting of your time. How Let's talk to your you. search? Lady Webb. If I'm going to do this for you, I think it's time you it's the time you told me everything about Theos. I've told you everything you need to know. But not everything. It's only right that you know everything. That was when easy. I was younger, before Dunreed Row, I had many suitors. These were fine-looking men of good stock. But I could see their thoughts, and they were unimpressive. Boys' thoughts. Oh my told, god. And then I met a man whose mind was a mystery to me. But he understood me. He knew me at a glance. Told me things I didn't know about myself. He was neither handsome nor charming but he was all i ever wanted i think i've heard all that i need to <laughs> um let's talk about the animancy what hearings. of them the knights of the crucible have accepted me into their delegation good avar wolfgrin looks to the crucible knights as a voice of reason and order speaking from their section should lend you credibility with him you need waste no more time here Get to the palace. Make your case to the Duke. With him on our side, all of Deerwood can be mobilized against the Leaden Key, and Theos can be rooted out. I only wish I could be there to see it. There is a very old bottle of a very good brandy that I have been saving for a special day. If you hurry back afterward, there may be a little left for you. Off with you. You're going to do very well in there. I wonder if you can like purposefully take side take the side of the leaden key and just be like, these animatsters are the ones causing all the problem. Let's instead support the leaden key who says animancy is terrible. And then, and then the Duke will be like, this guy knows what he's talking about because he's the main character of the game. Okay, fuck you animancers. We're gonna kill you all. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it would be cool if you could. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I think the Animancers, I think they're all right, except for the ones who are assholes. But that's, that's the case for everybody in the world, you know? Okay, let's get the F out of here. This is, is this the Domino House? I don't know. I don't, I don't really care. First fires, see what I mean about the loading screens. Then we're going to have to go into the palace as well and, and do the same thing. It should be fine though. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. We're going to progress the plot line. The storyline of Pillars of Eternity is going to go uh, forward. Sleep would do me good. Nobody's getting any sleep. Okay, shut up. <laughs> we're, we're doing something very important right now. They're not, the Duke is not going to wait for you to get some sleep. Right? It says as soon as possible. Right? They're not going to wait for us. Man, we got to we gotta go. This is not the time to be sleeping. This is the time to be at the pal... Wait, wait, wait. wait. This is the Vilean Embassy, not where I wanted to go. I want to go over here. Yeah. I'm excited. Although, actually, the only person who's tired is freaking Dingle Bingle. His accuracy is, is going down. That's, that's not good. Uh, I should probably get him some rest after we do this thing. <clears throat> Although, I wonder if we'll have to fight. It's not that big of a deal if only one person is tired in our party. Right? This is the nice thing about party-based games. You're not fucked if one person is a jerkintosh and gets tired all the time. Dingle Bingle. Okay, let's go. I think it's over here. I'm not sure, actually. I'm, like, totally not sure. A place has been reserved for you on the balcony, Dingle Bingle. Go to the upper floor. Okay. I guess... Oh, okay. I see how it is. That's... That's fancy. We received word from Commander Clivert that you would be attending, Dingle Bingle. The balcony has been open for you. Let's go inside. The room below is animated, is animated amidst the heated debate. All the representative groups are easily discerned in the crowd. The Crucible Knights, stiff in their nosy armor, sit in one section. In another are well-dressed members of House Domnal, casual, watching with predators' in interest. Still elsewhere are the ramshackle dozens, who have made no special effort to dress up for the liege lord. Interspersed are animancers in their academic robes, with expressions either sour or concerned. Why are we not with the Crucible Knights? Because we're with them. Well then, answer me this, Master Barash. If you Animancers represent our best hope to cure the legacy, what progress can you demonstrate? As I've said, it isn't about progress, it's about potential. My house would agree, Your Grace. We see great potential in its future. Watch, he's gonna do something like super jerky. And I suppose your blazing profits during the legacy don't have nothing to do with that, do they, Dominel? You can't have it both ways no more! Animancy goes, or this country goes! So you admit, Master Barask, that Animancy is no closer to stopping the legacy than it ever was. No, we've had many promising experiments. Cadman Azo has shown... Cadman Azo murdered a child! For a complete failure! We should be hanging him right now for what he done! The dozens won't stand for it! The experiment failed, yes, but his work... Ah, our new delegate from the Knights of the Crucible. What makes you say sabotage? I met a false patient in Brackenberry Sanitarium who had tempered with Azu's machinery. The fuck's that even matter? These are people who would toy with the lives of our children! Indeed. Even assuming there was sabotage, is this Animancer Azo not still accountable here? This is not the Bail Reach incident! This was a responsible scientist who was manipulated. Horseshit! These Animancers can't be trusted! Look at what happened in Heritage Hill! Our supposed protectors from Crucible Keep can't even clean up the messes Animancy leaves! Your Grace, we'd have a much easier time of it if our knights weren't so occupied trying to keep their organization from igniting a revolution on our very doorstep. Wow, you guys need to, like, stop fighting like a bunch of petty school children. Heritage Hill is blood on your hands, Justicia! You turn a blind eye, and look what happens! I have been to Heritage Hill. Though the knights were unable to control the damage, it was not animancy, but an ancient machine that caused it. Ancient device in Ter no went no neth. I feel like mentioning the name of it makes me seem more... knowledgeable. You've some strange taste in travels, friend. The height of your tails expands with every breath. You think some rotting corpse or volunteer guard could stand in my way? I earned my answers. I'll grant that you look the part. <laughs> Tell us what you saw in Heritage Hill. 
Ternoneth houses an Ingwithan machine that holds dominion over the flow of souls. It was this machine that made the district undead. Do you think that was the machine's purpose or just a dire side effect? Kana shudders. But then why would the Ingwithans build such a machine at all? Even if it is as you say, we have testimony that a group of Animancers had been spending time there. Surely their tinkering had something to do with this. Their presence doesn't prove cause. Their testimony is not evidence. It's a guess. Animancy has many enemies. You need only look around this room to see it. You're just... you're missing the point! Everywhere there's Animancers, there's disaster! We all know what Widewind's legacy's really about. And it ain't about some sparkling saint from Creed Ceres who's mad because he took a stroll down the wrong bridge! I really like the voice acting for this guy. I think it's hilarious. Ha! Wrong bridge indeed. It's about a bunch of so-called intellectuals fucking with the natural order while the rest of us gotta suffer for it. Is it though? Should we not take the time to reach a clear conclusion? I mean, what proof do we have? My son and daughter are buried beneath the floor of my house. We don't own no land, so that's where we lay them. My son. My wife let him slip when she was bathing him. Got water in his lungs he couldn't cough up. My daughter? We put her to bed one night, and the next morning she wasn't breathing. This hollowborn thing? It ain't ending. And it ain't ending, because we still let these charlatans play God. There's your proof, you damn copper fucker! Using emotional appeal, very clever! But I think the Lord will respond well to reason. Enough, Adric. Lady Dominel makes a point. If it's animancy, then why do the other states that permit the practice not suffer the same fate? Who among us can say he truly understands why the legacy has taken hold here? I can! The crowd begins to mutter, the sound taking a doubtful character. Right idea, Watcher. Taking this hearing by the curly ones. Don't waste your chance. Wadewen's legacy is the creation of the Leaden Key. Kade Manazo's downfall was their work, as was the Tower in Heritage Hill. They want you to do this. They want animancy to fall. The dull muttering expands into a din of skepticism. Skepticism that fills the hall. I have seen them in the ruins of Erglenfath, operating machines that disrupt and destruct to redirect the flow of souls near towns like Gilded Vale and Deerford, where their legacy is universal. As a watcher, I have heard their dead confess their plot. They are stealing the souls of the unborn. Beasts. Another lunatic at the hearing. Did you remember to <clears throat> lock your sanitarium before you left, Master Barask? Please, I only want to help the Deerwood. I want to see crazy. You want to see crazy make one more smart comment just like that. Birth invalidates. Birth invalids until your womb dries for all I care. The rest of these people will hear the truth. You shame your order by dismissing the truth before hearing it, madam. I expected a better from a crucible knight. If he died, did it for your husband's sake, I hope you at least left a brothel unlocked. Ha! <laughs> ah! And if, as the Duke says, no theory is, has more proof than any other, what is the harm in hearing one more? Your quips cannot change the truth. You must know, friend, that the Leaden Key is a mantle for small-time ruffians and children at play. I'm not saying you're a liar. Not yet. But you'd better start making sense of all this. Help us believe you. What's more likely? The gods are destroying Durward for a science practiced in, the part, in many parts of the world, or that a group of people hates animancy and wants it suppressed? The Leaden Key is very real! They are far enough from the Eder and Raetzeras, who hate the Dovin and want to see us suffer. Let's say a lord is cuckolded by his wife. If he tells her to stop, she'll only want her lover more. But if he spreads a rumor that her lover has just visited a brothel and acquired a pox on his loins, she'll end it her on her own. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my good- I, I- I have to pick it! I don't see what some rich lord's got to do with any of this. Look, the wife is Durwood, the lord is the leaden key, the affair is animated. You're making less sense now than you was when you started. You done talking yet? You've made an unexpected case, friend. I'll say that much. It seems we have a new possibility to consider, at the very least. How was it you came to learn all this? I mean, did the Knights of the Crucible actually help? Well, we should probably say this, so that we can get their support. I see. I am impressed the Knights seized such an unlikely opportunity to find an end to all of this. But these hearings are about more than Widewind's legacy, even though that is our most pressing concern. 
Let's say for the moment that I were to take you at your word that our friends in Brackenberry Sanitarium and their peers bear no responsibility for this curse upon my country. I'm curious, what would you do if you were in my position? I would allow the Animancers to continue their work, that they explore questions we all wish to understand. If we knew more, perhaps this crisis could have been averted. Animancers should be studied in Deerwood. If you don't, someone else will, and they will wield great power over you. The Animancers of Deerwood have been given too long a leash. The practice should be restricted and controlled. In, th in truth, I'm not completely confident Animancy doesn't have something to do with Wadeland's legacy. It would be wise to ban the practice, at least for now. Animancy is too dangerous. We are not meant to use it, and we have proven why they are unworthy of it. I'm going to go with this one. Someone else will wield great power over you. Fear tactics. It's, it's us versus them mentality. Works Very well. well. That is all I wish to hear. Not just from you, but from everyone. Many days we've been at this. It is time we put it to rest. Ye. I want to thank the delegations for helping me collect my thoughts. And our new delegate, who, if nothing else, has made this final day a little more interesting. The time has come to choose a direction for the Deerwood. I am ready to make my pronouncement. Okay. Premier de Barash, representing the interests of Animancers in Deerwood, step forward. Your Grace. Oh shit! The arguments for and against Animan. This guy's gonna assassinate the Pope in their own way. I must be careful in my judgment. Forgive me, Your Grace. We will accept no judgment but our own. What's he doing? <laughs> no! Avenge the devil! No, no, wait! Stop this! At once! <laughs> Oh man! Theos, man! Theos! He knows exactly what he's doing! What a clever son of a bitch! I've given you every chance to end this pursuit. Shall I end it for you? Another time. I am already late. Wait, why did I collapse? It's high time for some rest. <laughs> well, that's probably why. <laughs> I didn't get the rest. The words, shall I end it for you, ring in your ears. You find yourself gasping for breath, struggling to keep your own balance. You drop to a knee and watch as Theos hurries out of the building. The world dims around you, the screams and clashing of weapons fading to silence. All that remains are the words, shall I end it for you? Theos stands at a pulpit high above an assembly of robed onlookers, you among them clustered around a wide, circular pit carved of stone. He addresses a woman bound backward over a large iron wheel overlooking the great stone maw. Many of the woman's fingers and toes are severed, and the bottoms of her feet are charred black. The skin on one side of her face looks like a melted candle wax, black and red and seeping, and the angle of her back suggests the spine in ruins, yet for all that her expression betrays little of her anguish. I am already at peace, Grand Inquisitor. Are you? So be it. If you desire no end, you shall have none. I find you guilty of heresy. May the eternal prison bar your soul from passage, for it is beyond redemption. He nods to a hooded attendant who be begins untying her from the wheel. You open your eyes to the beamed ceiling of the palace's grand entry hall. The clangs of metal striking metal waft from outside alongside the cries of the injured as soon as you stagger to your feet. Theos is gone. Dingle Bingle, we need to get moving! Heraviaus hovers next to you, his head scanning about with nervous energy while he pulls on your clothing. Come on, no sense in standing around. Off to one side, you can hear the clinking rustle of chainmail. You look over to see a wounded guard slumped against the wall. He's trying to say something, seemingly directed at you. But first, it is too faint to hear. He gathers his breath and manages to rasp out a few words. Lady Webb, she's the only... She must be told. She'll know what to do. Please, find her. Tell her everything. Okay. I can't loot them? That's a shame. Don't go there. There's rioting in the streets. Where, where should I go? Maybe I can check out, like, the Ducal Archives or something? Oh, is it locked? Can I unlock it? No? I mean, this is a good opportunity to actually steal all their shit, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. Look. 
Sprayer against Infirmary. I don't know. A Golden Duke, though. Well, maybe we can go off to the side here. I think this is like an alternative exit. Watch it just be like a, an another, another area of the freaking palace and I'm just like wasting time here. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out very soon. Very soon. Please. I, I really wish that that was a clue. Oh, no. Yeah. The quest failed. What? Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Well, how did I fail two-sided? Hang on. I don't... Whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and the commoners are rioting and everything's going on here. Let's go, Stealthy. I don't want to kill any commoners. They're just commoners. What have they ever done to me? Which is... Come on, Heravius, don't get caught. Um. <clears throat> well, whatever. Oh no, all of Defiance Bay is in terrible situations. Yeah, I see what's going on here. I guess we're going to have to fight? That's a shame. Well, we'll do it. Okay. That's all right, I guess. Um, I wonder if the rioting has spread to other air districts in the city. I sure hope not, but oh well. I guess what's happening is like, uh, there's a sort of like anti-intellectual aspect to anti-animancy, I, I suppose. I don't know. Oh well. Yeah, they, they effed up the animancy building and stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out what happens next, I suppose. We failed a quest called Two-Sided. I don't know if you're supposed to fail that quest, or that's a quest where you're supposed to, like, join the Leaden Key. It's... it's interesting. It bodes... It, it, it's, it's, it's interesting because it bodes well for the replayability, at least to some extent. Although I don't think I would ever replay this game just because it's, like, so freaking long. Also, a lot of, lot of load screens. Gotta, you know, gotta talk about those. Uh, what's going on in there? Lady Webb lies still in her bed, an ornate cushion propping her back upright. The blood pooled beneath a gash in her chest is tacky and nearly dry. A shattered glass rests on the floor beneath her dangling hand. You can feel the faint aura of her fading essence in, in your ken. You make contact and are immersed in a torrent of sensory input and experience. When it calms, you find yourself in the same room, lying in a bed with a glass of brandy in your hand. Though the walls from the street outside come to the sounds of screams and shattering glass and the cacophony of an angry mob, you take a sip and it warms your gullet. Across the room, the door opens behind a patient's st patient steady push. Into the room walks Theos, the floorboards creaking beneath deliberate steps. You wait until the last of the brandy has tickled, trickled down your throat before you speak. I was a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. You are concentrating, focusing with all your energy. It feels as though you are diving into a stone wall over and over it, but cracks unexpectedly, allowing the vaguest wisp of thought to leak through. What's in Twin Elm? Did you pull that from my thoughts? I've had time to practice. Ah. Uh. I was saving that for someone. The son of a bitch drank our brandy. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. I mean, I don't think it does. He draws a long curved knife from his belt, smeared with fresh blood. With his left hand, he gently pins your sternum as he raises the knife to the, in the other, point, its point dangling above your heart. Prove it. Theo slips the knife between your ribs and pushes it through. Layers of tissue separate with brittle, papery stiffness and the blood wells up around the blade. A pulse of reflex causes you to drop your glass at the floor and you hear it shatter. With the last of your strength, you take his knife in both your hands, a question radiant in your mind. For an instant, to your great surprise, the pathway to his mind is left open to you, unguarded, and the answer comes, simple, cataclysmic, in its reordering of your thoughts. As Lady Webb, you feel as though you have an answer you've searched for all your life, but in your own mind, 
Her understanding lies just beyond your reach. You look at Theos with the wide eyes of someone seeing for the first time and draw your last breath as black, velvety darkness descends over you. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Enomancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Enomancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Enomancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenbury Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the leaden key itself. That's the end of Chapter 2 of Pillars of Eternity. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.